Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, Bass and Intuitive Tarot. And in this reading, I'm taking a look at Aries' love life for the next seven days. If you're new to this channel, please give it a like and subscribe. It would mean the world to me. And if you want to be notified the moment I upload a new reading, hit that notification bell. And if you feel like you resonate with this reading and you want to know more about the energy that surrounds your person and what's in your person's environment, Aries, I'll also provide the link to the extended pinned at the top of the comments and also down in the description box below where you'll also find info on personal readings. All right. With that being said, I have a couple of announcements to make and if you don't want to hear them, just fast forward until you start seeing me putting cards on the floor or the table. Anywho, Aries, I have some exciting news. I'm moving into my new house possibly this Monday or a couple days after, depending on what date the attorney gives me. And I'm going to be able to have a bigger space to play with and I can be more creative, okay? Because right now I'm confined to this bureau and it digs in my rib and it's so uncomfortable. So I'm going to be doing some changes and I know a lot of you guys have asked me to show my face in these videos. I'm super shy but I'm going to compromise with you. I'm going to do the weekly and the monthly readings with just the cards in my hand showing and then on Fridays I'm going to do all sign readings on a weekly basis, possibly live where I can interact with you guys via chat and I'll show my face. But I'm very shy so I might not do live just yet but I will show my face for the all sign zodiacs, okay? So that's what's in store. I'm also going to be doing a giveaway soon with my favorite Mystical Cat Tarot deck. I'm going to get a new one because this is one's getting all worn out. So I'm going to donate to a, a subscriber and then I'll do some more free giveaways, alright? And I have some exciting news but I have to wait until the end of October to share it, okay? So that's what I just wanted to share with you and hit that notification bell because the end of October and the month of November there's going to be some positive changes here, okay? A lot of excitement, a lot of goodies I'm going to give to you guys too. So, on to the reading. What is the next seven days looking like for Aries in love? What is the next seven days looking like for Aries in love? What is the next seven days looking like for Aries in love? What is the highest message? The highest message, please. And, whoa. Okay. That one jumped out. Somebody is deciding to either detach until someone makes a dedicated effort, or they're going to detach altogether and trust the situation and take a leap of faith elsewhere. Okay, Aries, I definitely feel like if someone doesn't give you the attention you deserve, you're about to move on. I'm definitely getting that. And um, Leo got something similar also. So I feel like you're, you're going to give someone the opportunity to give you a dedicated effort, but if they don't, you are detaching and moving on. You're going on a new journey, okay? And this could also be vice versa, so if any cross watchers are watching. Also, something significant could have happened on August 11th. Alright, so August 11th could have been a very um, important date for you. Alright, or you were dealing with a Leo born on August 11th since this showed up in Leo's reading. Or, um, um, something is going to be happening on November 8th, 2020. Okay, or you're dealing with someone who was born in November, or something's happening in eight days or 11 days. Okay, so let's do tarot. What is the highest message that we have for Aries in matters of the heart? What is the highest message we have for Aries in matter of the heart? Give me more info on that dedicated effort card. Give me more info. I just asked for more info on that dedicated info card and the judgment came out. Scorpio energy. Somebody is wanting someone to make a final decision because they're sick of being stuck and stagnant with the hangman. Pisces energy. Aries, I feel like you are over waiting on someone and you're ready to go on a new life elsewhere. But you're willing to give someone one more chance to speak up with the judgment. Either give me a dedicated effort or I must go. Okay, Aries? That's what you're doing. Because you feel like someone has kept you stuck and stagnant for far too long. And you feel like the only reason why they weren't moving forward with you is because of their own mental entrapment. That lock that's tying them up to that tree, the key is in their head. The key is in their head. It's like their own mind got them overthinking the situation too much, okay? 
and you're like, come on, we just trust the process already. Trust the process. If not, I am going to make a head over heart decision to detach from this situation because I need some serious effort. I need some serious effort. And this person is going to grieve your loss with the Five of Cups, Scorpio energy. Okay? And I also pick this energy up as you also grieving this loss because you do feel a strong bond towards this person. You don't want to detach from them. You want to give them another chance. You want to make this right. But you can't wait any longer, Aries. You can't. You don't want to. You don't feel like it's fair to you. You don't feel like it's fair. So, I mean, look at your face. Look at your face as you, you're about to release that dove. You don't look happy. You don't look happy releasing that love. You don't. But you need to free yourself. You need to free yourself from waiting for someone and just go. You're this bird right here with that full energy. This person has kept you waiting long enough. And you're going to give them another chance to uh, either shit or get out the pot, basically. And this is just not an easy situation. You're willing to end this connection because you are using your intuition with the High Priestess, Pisces energy. Heavy Pisces in this reading. Someone is definitely using their intuition and making a head over heart decision with that Two of Swords showing up again. You're making a head over heart decision to free yourself from waiting for love or looking for love. You feel so unsure though. You got that wrap around your eyes, a blindfold, and you're just throwing darts at the dartboard hoping that the universe has your back and is guiding the dart to the right target on the wall. So you are definitely trusting the process here. You are definitely trusting the process, Aries, okay? You care about someone greatly, but they have been holding back from you with the Four of Pentacles, Capricorn energy, and enough is enough, you feel like. You know this person cares about you, but they have been either at a distance from you or they have been acting distant or this has been going on for far too long with the long-term relationship or long-distance relationship with the Three of Wands. You felt like your ships were coming in, though, with this person. And there could be a body of water that separates you two. But someone is not wanting to lose the situation. Someone is wanting to heal it and get what they're wishing for with the star card. Sign of Aquarius. All right. You have been very patient with the temperance energy. Sign of Sagittarius. And you've kept the faith that this person would come around. You really did. You exercised extreme patience, Aries. You did. You did. But you want attention. You want, it, it, it's your every right. You want attention from someone who is supposed to care about you. You want at least a dedicated effort. You don't need to have this person throwing flowers at your feet like the image shows, but you know, some dedication is nice. You just want dedication. You want to know that someone is willing to make the effort to make you feel love. All right, so you may be changing your focus this week. You may be making a head over heart decision to change your focus and fives are all about change to go towards emotional fulfillment with the Ace of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You may have had to go withdrawn and go into hermit mode with the hermit energy sign of Virgo or your person did. But there is an offer that someone is rejecting because they're looking for their stability and joy. So there might be an energy of someone reaching out and facing their darkest fears because they want to seek the truth. And then they're hoping that you will rest and reconsider what you've decided on and allow this connection to heal itself. Okay? So I feel like you're dealing with someone who wasn't giving you effort and you decided to speak up and say, you know what, I, I gotta go. I'm sick of waiting. I'm sick of waiting. I, I have love for you. I do. And I know you care about me. Just I'm not seeing the effort being made, so I need to go. And this person is possibly going to ask you to rest and reconsider it. Okay? So, there might be a younger fire sign that's coming into your life. Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries. Alright? There might be a, a younger energy coming up. So, tell me more about this detach. Tell me more about this detach card. Tell me more about this detach card. You're wanting to detach because someone was way too in their head with the Eight of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. They self-sabotaged this connection. They did. They self-sabotaged it, all because they couldn't get out of their own head. For whatever reason, maybe they were fearing commitment, maybe they were fearing another 
failed connection or maybe they are getting out of an old relationship and they just weren't ready but you feel like they they just kept themselves stuck even though you saw a relationship with this person with the ten of cups so tell me more about that trust card which is the full energy tell me more about that trust card aquarius energy i got heavy aquarius here too i got aquarius scorpio leo and pisces uh, mainly right now but don't focus on the zodiacs three of pentacles you could be meeting someone at work or someone is going to want to work with you and it might be someone younger with the page of cups cancer pisces scorpio i feel like you're either getting a new energy coming into your life or someone is younger or someone you are dealing with is going to have a fresh new outlook on a on a situation okay and agree to work with you as a team where they weren't in the past someone is wanting to release burdens with the ten of wands leo sagittarius aries energy they don't want to live like this they don't want to feel trapped in their mind they don't want to lose out on opportunities that would make them feel fulfilled but they feel like they're going uphill on roller skates they your your person may be feeling like they're at a brick wall for there's some some sort of situation that's preventing your person from going towards you aries you know the situation more than i would but I feel like your person is definitely dealing with something that's making them feel tied and bound to a situation, okay? This could be them feeling like they can't get out of a, a situation that no longer makes them happy due to children, or um, they feel like they have shared finances with somebody, or they have loyalty to someone, or distance is an issue, they live too far away, or uh, something to do with culture, or age difference. There's some sort of blockage that's not really a blockage for your person, but they're they're mentally allowing it to trap them. They're mentally allowing it to keep them stuck and tied to a situation. But they can get out of it. It's their own mind. Alright? And you're over here going, come on now, it's just your it's your own mental blockage that's preventing this and I gotta move on. Um so you got someone that's got you on their mind. So what's going on with this connection? What's going to be the possible outcome? What's going to be the possible outcome? And then I'll get some romance angel cards. Whoa! Shoot doggy. I did not just say shoot doggy. And now I got it on recording. Badass and saying shoot doggy. Okay, the only two cards that flipped out is for the possible ending or possible outcome is the Nine of Cups and the Strength. Leo NG and Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Someone may be going to you for support or finding their strength deep inside them to go after what their wish fulfillment is. Someone is possibly going to be releasing some burdens and finding the strength to get past any obstacles. Okay? Because there is wish fulfillment. Okay? Uh, Leo got a similar reading, so if you're dealing with a Leo, do check out that reading but someone has feelings for you and they are real could be a cancerian with the queen of cups or pisces scorpio but someone you're dealing with someone possibly very sensitive and it's really hard for them to express themselves so maybe with them not ever opening up to you you felt like this person wasn't seeing your worth or wasn't trying to move forward in this connection and you just you just want some effort you want some effort being made. So let's get some romance angels to see how you're viewing the situation. Um, I got heavy Aquarius. I got Pisces. I got Sagittarius. I got Leo definitely here. I got Scorpio. I got Cancer. I got your energy and Saggy. But don't worry. It's, it, could, it, could, it could be anybody. Okay? And there's also Capricorn. Just focus on the energy and the message and not the zodiac sign. Because we can all embody all elements. So in the extended, I'll dig deeper into your person's truth feelings, intentions, and actions towards you, and I'll get the romance angels for how they're viewing you, but this is how you are viewing it. Please hit like and subscribe and share. Keep an open mind. Your soul made me different from your usual type and expectations. Uh, Leo also got that as the bottom overall energy. Someone could have a big age difference from you, a different in culture background, a different in race, or there's something different about this person that you need to keep an open mind about, but I feel like this might be part of the block that your person is dealing with. Maybe they have an issue with the age or the difference in culture or race or whatnot, or they handle love in a different way and they're hoping that you can be open-minded, or maybe they feel like their finances aren't as good as yours and they are feeling like 
it's uneven and they will always feel like they're in your shadow or something but there are romantic feelings and they're worth exploring with the romantic feelings card a new person has stirred your romantic interest remember how i said i feel like there's a a new younger water sign or a new fire sign that's coming in you could have interest from a new person coming in because this other person isn't giving you the dedicated effort and in codependency in reverse someone may be releasing some sort of codependent attitude or energy or they're trying to stop being emotionally manipulative or they're trying to get out of their own head because being trapped in your mind is a, a, a codependent uh, behavior also your person may be clenching to um, a certain thing or attachment to make them feel secure and they're losing out on amazing opportunities because of it and spirit wants you to love yourself first and go ahead and love yourself you're making this big decision to detach from this person because they're not giving you effort you're choosing to love yourself first Leo also got that one too and attraction you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully by you loving yourself you deciding to do you and focus on your stability you might be getting the attention from someone younger and if it's not someone younger it's definitely someone new so I feel like something is coming in for you okay Aries so if this resonated the link to the extended is down below but if this is where I leave you no big deal please hit like please hit subscribe share 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 with your neighbors your friends your dogs or whoever needs to hear this message and the link to book a personal reading is down below love you guys bye